Works. We'll see. We don't know if it's going to work or not. Anyway, um, I gotta reach you. Oh, did I reach the dog glass? I better take these off. Oh, before I take these off, I gotta have my water. Well, I'm gonna do a lot more water. Ooh, let me put this in the water. Super silica, pure ionic silica. Energized and delivered to the cells by soul power. Put that in the water. Put it right there. They tell you put I don't know how many drops. Who cares? Oh no, you better not overdo yourself. One, two, three, what what a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I do twelve. Why? Because I'm into the number three. Okay? So put twelve there. Okay, uh, I gotta read, so I better take these off. <sighs> yes, the desk is moved. Uh, where we, well, we've moved from Limpete, South Africa, to uh, right now we're in uh, Chesapeake, Virginia. And um, I'm at the home of my sister, my dear sister. They say, baby, people say, I hate to say it, baby sister, but she's younger than I am. You know, she's like five years younger than I am. And we have, well, some other time. Anyway, but what's important about this home is because I have been traveling for a long time. All my stuff is here in a house in Virginia, you see? This is what's something about, well, nearly, nearly full of will tell you this, you know? The problem is that we keep uprooting and boom, 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 boom. I've lost a lot of stuff moving, but when my sister got home, I got all my books, all my really important books, it's my wonderful here, all kinds of things are here. This is a, a, a volume. Uh, that actually I didn't get much, I guess somehow she came apart. Uh, the American Historical Documents put out by the Harvard or Harvard Classics. Anyway, and um, let me tell you before I get to that. As soon as I got here, um, I had some problems with my phone and access to my Gmail, blah, blah, blah. So I haven't posted in a while. I did post a little bit. But also, my phone was, everything was gone. Anyway, uh, so I finally got that all settled about two weeks, uh, two weeks, it, uh, about a, um, a few days ago. Um, less than a week ago. And so I started, you know, contacting some people that should know that I'm here. And so, you know, I may have been sleeping, <laughs> dead sleep, and I get a phone call, you know. And usually I turn, I used to turn my phone off and I, anyway, I had on, I answered, the guy starts talking. I said, uh, and who is it? Grayson. Now, you don't know Grayson, don't worry about it, but I have a very small circle of people I trust. I can name them all <laughs> like that. Grayson is definitely one of them. Okay, I'm gonna go back a long way. Uh, he's the type of person, if you talk to him, you don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> you have no idea what he's talking about. But me, I can I can decode Grace, right? So we started talking on the phone. You know, I don't talk look on the phone, but we started talking. One of the things he said, um, uh, he grew up, oh, I won't leave that alone. Anyway, he, he grew up in a family. He's a, basically, let me say this, Grace is a genius, okay? A genius. Um, anyway, he said that when he was young, his father would read to him uh, the ship logs, the ship logs of the of, of, of ships, you know. And like he was relating to me over one log that that, that the ship that got went around the Cape of Good Hope, that's down South Africa, Cape of Good Hope, and um, it was stranded there for a while. Now, the, the Cape of Good Hope kind of is sometimes the. Um, the, the sea is very placid, you can't, you, you just both don't move. Sometimes that wouldn't be whipping. Anyway, at this particular point, he was reading uh, that uh, for several months, I guess, was a ship, they couldn't go on land, whatever. They, they were on a ship, and all kinds of things happened. The ship logs, and all kind, every kind of thing, lost, blah, 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 cannibalism, all this stuff. So his fault to be reading this stuff when he was a kid, okay. Soon after that, you know, I don't know, I was I was cleaning, I, was, I, I like to clean, you know. I know, when I'm in South Africa, my wife, would, I won't get into that. Point is, uh, I like to do stuff because uh, I guess got to keep busy, um, like hyper that way. And uh, so I came across this, and I just on the shelf, so I just pulled it off the shelf, and I just opened it up to any page. Well, I have it marked right now, and the first thing I opened up on page 21, there's a three again. <laughs> they have um, the letter of the letter of Columbus to uh, Louis de Saint Angel. Uh, 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 announcing his discovery 
This is in uh, 1493. Okay, so he announced his discovery. His, uh, his, the following letter was written by Columbus near the end of his return voyage to Louis blah, 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 uh, treasurer of blah, 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 forget all that stuff. He still said, Sir, as you know, you will, be, you will be rejoiced at the glorious success that our Lord has given me in this voyage. I write this to tell you how in 33 days I sailed to the Indies with the fleet that the illustrious king and queen of our sovereigns gave me, uh, where I discovered a great many islands. I discovered a great many islands. Right? Inhabited by numberless, numberless people. Okay. It speaks for itself, right? And all, and of all, I have taken possession for their highnesses by proclamation and display of the royal standard without opposition. To the first island I discovered, I gave the name San Salvador in commemoration of his divine majesty, who has wonderfully granted all this. The Indians call it uh, uh, Guana, Guanaham. The second I named island of San Maria de Concepcion. The third, Fern uh, Fernandina. The fourth, Isabella. The fifth, uh, Juana. And thus, to each I gave a new name. Let me just go someplace else right now. I'm just going to turn a couple of pages. Okay. Okay, you got all that part, right? Okay, great. Now, here we go. Let me go to another page. Here we go. Uh, directly, I reached the Indian in the first isle I discovered. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, directly, I reached the Indies in the first island I discovered. I took by force some of the natives that from them were, uh, we might gain some information and what there uh, was in these parts. And so it was that we immediately understood each other by either words or signs. Let me hold it right there. I don't want to use that term. Sorry, sorry. It's morning. Interesting. He said, by words of justice. Now, uh, I don't have uh, language acumen. Uh, um, it's very difficult. For, it takes me a long time to learn a language. I've been in whatever. Um, but, however, I travel the world without language skills. Okay, and many, a lot of people know English. But I find, that's why I go face to first. A few gestures, it just, you know, first of all, wherever you go, you have to know at least a, a greeting, you know, uh, the, the, the hello, the thank you, you know, uh, the whole, the whole thing. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> uh, first, went to the when I first got one of the two words I learned was um, uh, 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 donde es baño, bathroom, and cervezas, por favor, beer, por favor. Okay, fine. Um, and so, so what I'm trying to say, but gestures get you a lot of. And there's a, there's a, there's a. Uh, human beings have this thing. You, you can project your your desires, and somehow you get you get you get what's going on. When I went to Cuba. Couldn't speak much Spanish, yeah, I, but, I, no, no, but I, I, I was hanging out with this, this sister. Well, I can't tell you how we met, anyway. But you know, so we walked on, and and we, uh, at some particular point, was outside a, you know, the place where, um, what's that guy? You know, the guy smoking a cigar. No, I, I smoked but the, the the writer, you know, the writer that killed himself, you know, uh, Hemingway. Yeah, whenever anyway, in that area, and I was talking to the locals, and, and we talked for a while, and then we really understood each other. You see. A little bit of word it was there. So, so people when they're afraid to chat because they don't know language. Ah, I'll tell you another story about Brazil one of these days. That's really difficult. Actually, I really went to a Czech Republic. You know, I was hanging out in the bar. I, you know, Czech is very hard. They wasn't speaking no English, but we had a grand time. Anyway, um, uh, they were still with me, and I still uh, that I come. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, words and signs. They are still with me and still believe that I come from heaven. They were the first to declare that wherever I went, and the, oh, they were the first to declare this wherever I went. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. And the others ran from, from house to house and to the towns crying out, come, come and see the man from heaven. And then all, then all, both men and women, soon as they uh, were reassured about us, came, both small and great. 
all bringing something to eat and drink, which they presented with marvelous kindness. And these isles, they were a great many canoes. Da, 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 da. It goes on upside down. Okay, we got that far. Let me get this the last thing I'm going to read to you. Just a second. Um, in Hispaniola, uh, you know, Hispaniola would be uh, uh, basically Dominican Republic and Haiti, the Big Islands was Hispaniola at the time, right? Uh, in the most convenient place, most accessible for the gold mines and all commerce with the mainland on the on the side of which uh, that of the Great Khan and others, which uh, with which there would be great trade and profit. I have taken possession of a large town, which I should be complete, which should be completed by this time, and I have left it in uh, it. I have left in it men enough to hold it, with arms, uh, artillery, and provisions for more than a year, and a boat with a master a seaman skilled at the arts of necessary to make to make others. Okay. Uh, so he goes on like this, uh, all, in, in all the islands, excuse me, in all the islands that uh, men seem to be satisfied with one wife, except they allow as many as 20 of their chief, 20 for their chief and king. The women appear to, to me to work harder than the men, and so far as I can hear, they have uh, nothing of their own, for I think I perceive that what one had others shared, especially food. I'm gonna stop right there. Okay, I'm not gonna read this, book. but you understand, you understand what I say. The first first conquest, you you, you you get all that stuff, okay? And so it starts. You know, so it starts. That's how it starts. To come from heaven, blah 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 blah. Now I bring that up because this is. This is, well, this is what it is. You heard it. Get the book. See what it is. But it got me to thinking a bunch of things. How things start. How things go. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm thinking now with the, well, specifically with the ADOS movement, we have to go to some other place with this. Uh, you know, people doing what they're doing, but what is, what is my role? You know what I mean? I'm no politician. I'm no whatever have you. So I have to do my thing. Well, my thing is audio drama. That's what I do. So what I have to do is take some of these things, interpret this, interpret what, uh, what, what uh, Attorney Moore and what Yvette and, and, and Miss Yvette, you know, have to say when they get their information. Let's put it this way. They get their information from uh, Professor Sandy Darity, right, and his wife. I put them together. So, so, so make like, well, make like. So Sandy Darity and his wife working on the book right now. They are, you know, the two, the two, the two, the two elders, if you will, you know, uh, the two elders, and their information. They, you know, because the elders have time to do this stuff, right? Their information goes to uh, 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 Yvette and, and Antonio, right? And they then take this and make it make it plain for their generation, for all to see. Or they make it plain. So they give us our, I call it our marching orders, right? Now, what are my marching orders? You know, they they, they don't know who I am, right? So, I don't know why I keep on doing it. I'm going to blow my nose. I have my tissue here. Um, so they get them, so now I have to take their information and all the information that I get, well, my, I've got a lot of different books, and I have to then make it into a popular form. So the people who can't understand, who don't want to spend time with Professor Darity and, 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 and Mrs. Darity's stuff, right? And the people who, that just, you know, just do whatever, well, they, they can't understand or rebel against whatever uh, uh, Yvette, you know, and Antonio is doing, right? I've got to make it so that they understand it on another level. Be I'm doing poetry or I'm doing audio drama, whatever. So I have to distill all the stuff, plus all the stuff that I know. But they have to be in that sort of groove, right? And so then it goes out and it should become more popular. So at certain levels, the academics and the, and the elders should be dealing directly with, 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 with Professor Darity, right? And, and Mrs. Darity, right? Now, the the rest of us should be really taking our, you know, our orders, or orders, mar I call it marching orders, or our insights, or whatever you call it, from Miss Yvette and Attorney Moore, right? And then there's going to be a whole other thing, you know, 
not not me, I'm just because my forms I, I do a different way. You know? uh, so, so if you hear a nice Diddy or whatever have you, you know, I don't mean Diddy like P. Diddy. Well, yeah, P. Diddy. So P. Diddy and them, they, they should be doing stuff, right, informed by what I just finished saying, right? Not on their own, on they got their own ideas. It don't work like that because a lot of people have their own ideas. When I first do it, I'll get that to another form. So I just want to make this short. Maybe I need to talk about that. Uh, one of the things I did uh, when I first got uh, came into um, you know, the African Street Festival, the International African Arts Festival right, in, in Brooklyn, and that first day, and um, you know, and, and 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 I got one of the flyers that said whatever they was they were saying. I didn't kind of write it. And, um, and so I was only intended to be that one day and then s split right down here, right? Uh, but then I read the fly and they was having a reparations panel. I said, whoa. So I had to spend another day there, right? Uh, and so that reparations panel, I went to that thing, and they were talking, you know. Let's say one organization was uh, the organization that shall not be named. I like to say it that way. Like, they're talking blah, 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 blah. Then there was this woman there, and she was doing her thing. She was very accurate in her, you know, re rehashing all the stuff, da, 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 as far as our, our journey. Uh, there's a really good, maybe I'll put a link of it, that I just came across to Martin Luther King really explaining everything that we've, we, we've been explaining, but he makes it so clear. Uh, one of his last interviews, right, with NBC, and it's in color, so I'm going to try to put the link there. Uh, and then there's a, another cat, a young guy, right, right, and again, he's he was talking some stuff, right? But I noticed both the, the person from the organization should not be named as well as this guy, they said something about negotiations. And it just struck me. Some of you filming them, whatever, what? Oh, I'm, I forgot to say. And the person that put together, some, some guy, attorney, some whoever he was, he put the panel together, but you see he chose these people. And that's what's happening now. But I noticed they kept on saying negotiations. So, you know, some people asked some questions, and then I asked the question. I said, who are you negotiating with? And they was going to something. I said, no, it's, it's no negotiation. This is a debt. And so I explained to them, I used to be a debt collector, you know, over the phone, whatever happened. And with a debt, you don't negotiate a debt. What you negotiate is the terms of paying that debt. You don't negotiate whether it is a debt or not. I think that people miss this completely. Right? Anyway, so, so so that went on. And then this other guy, it was the cameraman, he started talking about, you know, uh, Minister Farrakhan went to Trump and, and demanded some, 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 I don't know about what he was talking about. I looked at this guy and I tell them people get it. This is, you an individual is not going to go to Trump or whoever and say, give us this. It don't make no sense. So I told that guy this. And then he went to his whole thing, you know, and I just, at some particular point, I said, yeah, I'm sure you're right. He said, he said, and he said something, I said, yeah, I'm patronizing you. And I just left this cat, right? Oh, by the way, when I was there, I didn't say I was an atheist or anything like that, but the sister came up to me, and he was, and she was, uh, the, um, and she was saying, oh, you're ADOS. He said, I'm ADOS too. I'm undercover here. And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. But while she was talking to me, oh, I got to get this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got to get this. If I can find it. I know it's here someplace. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, come on. Where is it at? I know it's here. There it is. There it is. Ah, oh, man, I can't find it right now. I can't find the evidence. I have that read. As they say, you see. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. But while we were talking, they were ending this session. It was a whole session. And they were doing this track. They were doing this pledge or something like that that was created by, uh, um, um, you know, uh, Karanga. You know, Karanga. You know, the cat with the, the, the spy from the, you know, what the spy, the turncoat, the, the, the double agent from in L.A. that, you know, from the us guy and da, da, da. And he's got this whole thing that they, 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 they were doing this pledge. This pledge from like 1979 or whenever it was. Uh, or maybe it's, I gotta find this thing. I'm sorry, I'm this is gonna bug me if I don't find it because I oh pip here it is, right here. This is, they handed this out. This entered the meeting, this is their pledge. It's called a uh K I A P O Pledge of Allegiance to Our People and Struggle. And it's by Dr. Um, uh, Malanga, well, no, Karanga, right? Chairman of us, this was done, yeah, in October 1979, right? And it's this little pleasure. So while they're doing this pleasure, they all stand up doing this pleasure. The sister's talking. I'm trying to get her details down. Da, da, da. I'm not gonna, I don't uh, read her details down. So we just totally disrespected the day. But let me, I'm not even going to read the pledge. They're pledging. They're pledging something from 1979. These people are living in 19.
1979. They negotiated from 1979. Let me unupset myself by just garbage right here. Ding! Where it belongs in the dustbin of history. <laughs> we had a new page. Anyway, this is just a short message. I guess it's a little bit long. From me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to the bed. Telling you what I only suspect from hold up, here we go. Sorry. A desk of the A. D-O-S, that would be the uh, North American descendants of chattel slavery. Oh!